Hey guys, Justin Bryant here from selfmadesuccess.com. In this video, I'm going to cover the four hour work week book review. I'm going to cover the entire list of chapters, how they're broken down, the topics covered. He has it, Tim Ferriss, the writer of the book, has it covered in different sections. I'm going to talk about which sections he covers, what the main topics are, and who this book is for, who it's not for, who might enjoy this book, who wouldn't, to give you a better idea of whether or not this book would even be worth reading for you. So it's by Tim Ferriss, of course, just a little background. He's written four New York Times bestselling books, The 4-Hour Workweek, 4-Hour Body, 4-Hour Chef, and Tools of Titans being the most recent. And this book is a lot about lifestyle design, which is basically somewhat something he just came up with. And I'll tell you more about what it's about, but he talks about um, some of the things he basically learned from scientific studies from other people he knows in Silicon Valley and other entrepreneurs. Um, he talks about his experiences running his brain quicken company which is a supplement company that just about made him go insane and how he actually uh, had to go to Europe on a very long month or two vacation and realize that the company didn't even need him even though he was the founder of it and he was working himself to death back when he was in the States running the company and he he realized a lot of things from all these different experiences. He also lived overseas. He lived in Japan for a while. He lived in um, Argentina for a while and some other places as well. And he talks about that as well. But he's definitely somebody who goes his own way. And um, there's a reason why this book's very popular. And that's because it's very different. It's not something you've ever really seen before. It's in a completely different style than we're used to. So this is the book, of course, you can get it on Amazon. Um, but the first thing that he really covers is how to go your own way. So if you're into you know, being different from other people, you want to see uh, what options are out there besides the typical, you know, go to school, go to college, get your job, work your job for 40 years, retire, um, do what you want to do when you're retired and then die. He completely goes against that. He's all about going against the machine, going against the system. So he talks about, of course, first and foremost, he talks about his background and things about that and how you need to not think about things in the ordinary way that you're thought, that you're taught to think about things and that life is actually a lot different if you want it to be and can actually be a lot more interesting um, and he starts with step one, which is he D he divides this into four main sections, which is D E A L spelling deal definition, elimination, automation, and then liberation. So definition, he basically talks about different things from figuring out what you want, things like that, and how you don't need to do what everyone else does, even though everyone's going to tell you that's what you need to do. And a quote that he really um, uses a lot is, if you ever find yourself on the side of the majority, it's time to pause and reflect, which is by Mark Twain, a very famous writer. And that's basically what he gets into, how to define what you want and uh, what it really looks like to do the complete opposite of everyone else. So number two, he also talks about how to be more productive. So you'll see here that he talks about elimination and automation. I'll get a little more into those in a minute. But he talks about time management and how managing time just doesn't work. He'll get into different tools you can use, different things that will help you, and different strategies he's come up with from reading, from testing on himself. He's basically a human guinea pig. Um, and he's done a lot of weird things. He actually has like all this medical equipment in his house. He talks a little bit about that. He also mentions that in his podcast, if you've ever listened to the Tim Ferriss show, which you can find at the Tim Ferriss blog 
at 4-Hour Workweek. You can just go to his podcast and listen to some of the episodes to learn more about who he is. Also, you can just read some of his blog posts. But um, he's definitely somebody who is a big believer in being more productive, but not in the same way that everyone else does. And he talks about how time management is really a myth. He talks about different things like that, and he kind of divides it into elimination and automation. Number three, how to automate work and other things. So when it comes to productivity, he talks about how you really have to stop relying on yourself completely. You can do different things to get a lot done without having to do them specifically yourself with other people, using other people, leveraging technology, and things like that. So if you're really into automation, if you're really into saving time by um, getting things done automatically through other people and through technology, he covers a lot of that, of course, in the automation part of this book. Um, outsourcing different things, creating a muse, and stuff like that. So that's a huge part of this. That's one of the reasons why he can call it the four-hour work week because he teaches a lot of automation. Number four, he shows you how to eliminate what you don't need. So elimination is just important as automation in this book, and he talks about how you don't need to spend as much time managing things as you do eliminating things and then automating what's actually important so he talks a lot about you may hear him mention minimalism um, stoicism and different ways of thinking that simplify life simplify business simplify just about everything that matters and gets rid of the clutter from your life so he teaches you how to do that. Number five, he teaches you how to create time freedom. So another thing he does through the elimination and automation, he teaches you how to create a lot more time, hence the name the four hour work week. And creating time allows you to basically spend most of your life doing what you want to do instead of working so that you can do what you want to do later whether that be the weekend whether that be retirement he also is a big fan of completely changing the way we think about retirement so we can get more into that number six how to travel and live like a rich person without much money he also talks about towards the end of the book how to actually travel the world how to, and he talks about how instead of making millions of dollars to be rich and enjoy the things the rich enjoy he talks about how we don't actually care about money we care about what money gets us so instead of making all this money to get what money gets us he says you can experience the best of life by um, leveraging different ways of traveling um, saving money in certain ways and doing things in a specific way to actually enjoy much of the same things that rich people enjoy without paying the cost of them and of course these are all legal but um, he shows you different tools different examples of how to do that so if you're into traveling could be a great book for you um, as far as who's this book is for and who it's not for this book I actually enjoyed it a lot I think it's a great book um, it's actually be, been a very big impact on my life, especially in terms of productivity. Um, this book is for people who want to be more productive and want to spend less time working so that you can enjoy what money gets you. You can enjoy your time, which is your most valuable asset. If you want to be more productive, if you want to save time, definitely read this book. If, this, if you want to live like rich people traveling different places having big mansions and having personal um, maids and enjoying the best food and enjoying tropical areas around the world and stuff like that 
He teaches you how to do that for much less money than it would cost to do it in other places. And he'll show you how to make your money go farther so that you won't even care if you're rich. Um, this book is also for people who love life hacks. So if you if you list, if you watch um, different shows or read blogs or watch videos about life hacking and things like that, life hacker is one website, lifehack.org, another site. If you like just stuff that's kind of interesting, that's kind of off the wall, and you're very open-minded to weird ideas that can make your life better and more efficient. He has tons of stuff. That's basically the definition of this book. Lots of weird um, ideas that no one else would ever think of that actually could work. This book is not for people who want a great story, okay? Look at Tim Ferriss. He's written a lot of books, okay? He has four books that are New York Times bestsellers, and not one of them is written like a professional writer. So to be honest, I've read quite a few books, and it's not, obviously he does nonfiction, but he doesn't write in a way that you would just think, wow, he's a great writer, he is you know, he has a way with words. He's very smart. He's very analytical. He's very good at studying and expressing results. He's very good at interviewing people. But as far as writing an actual book and actual, like, if he, if he were to write a fiction book, it would probably be a disaster. You know, I love the guy. I think he's an incredible, interesting person. But a writer, and he would probably admit the same thing, is not something that he necessarily would call himself. Whereas if you read something like The Greatest Salesman in the World, which is about entrepreneurship and making money, that book by, I think it's Og Mandino, is extremely well written because it's turned into a story. And the entire thing's a story, but it teaches you things that you can apply to your life through the elements of a story. He doesn't do that. He's more of a science and data and story driven, you know, backstory driven person from just different things he's done in his life rather than someone who can just make up something that is full of great metaphors and things like that. So if you're looking for something that's just super well written, it's probably not something that you would enjoy because it's 400 pages long of more like statistics, tools, uh, short experiences from his life and things like that. This book is not for people who don't want to get out of their comfort zone. So this book really teaches you that you need to do the opposite of everything you're taught to do. And he shows you why it works. And if you try it, tends to work. I've tried many of the strategies he's taught. They tend to work, especially for productivity, saving time, things like that. But it's not something that if you are comfortable in your life, you want to just make small changes without, you know, um, putting yourself in odd situations that you've never been before. This is not a good book for you at all. It's not something that you would enjoy. So, uh, this book is not for people who want a step-by-step -step business building guide as well. Many people think, oh, he's going to teach us how to start an internet business, how to market it, how to brand ourselves. He's good at that stuff, but he's not going to teach you how to do it specifically in this book. Um, or really, I've never heard him get into a whole lot of detail about any of that stuff, but... He teaches you mostly concepts of how life works, how to kind of life hack your way to a better lifestyle, to more happiness, more time, and more money, and more fulfillment. But he's not going to teach you, he's also going to give you tools for doing that, but he's not going to teach you like how to build a internet business step by step. So don't get that idea that's really not what he does. So other than that, that's basically how the book works. You can get it at Amazon, Kindle, ebook. You can get the hardcover. Um, you can get the paperback. You can get the audio version. 
I've personally um, had the hardcover, read that, and I've also listened to the audiobook version. Both of those are great. I recommend both of those. Um, you might read more about Tim Ferriss on Wikipedia. This kind of shows some of the different things he's accomplished. And like I said here, this is kind of what the uh, chapters cover. I kind of cover the different sections. It's all about definition, elimination, automation, and liberation. Traveling, productivity, saving time. Those are the big concepts of this book. So if you want to learn more about Tim Ferriss and some of the things he does, I recommend his podcast. You can go to the Tim Ferriss Show on your podcast app, whatever that may be, or go to um, tim.blog. Other than that, um, I hope this helps you figure out whether this book might be good for you. In the future, very soon, I'm going to do a follow-up video about the 4-Hour Workweek, and I'm going to share with you a summary of some of the best strategies I learned from this book, and that will get more into specific strategies if you're into what this book is about. So I recommend reading the book either way. You're not going to get as much from listening to other people's notes or other people's reviews as you do from reading the book yourself and taking your own notes. So... Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, for all the video notes, links that I mentioned, um, different things about the book, resources, you can go to selfmadesuccess.com and I'll have all that on one page for you. You can find the link to that page in the video description. If there's some other things that you want to let me know about as far as like what you thought about the book, or what you thought about the video, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I do think it's a great book, and I definitely recommend it for people that um, I mentioned in the video. But it's not for everybody. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a great day.